presentation is on the foraging behavior of Steller's jays using Tinbergen's four levels of analysis. This analysis focuses on proximate causation, development, function, and evolution. When observing the foraging behavior of Steller's jays, I noticed that the birds seemed to be making decisions on which peanut to choose. In analyzing their behavior using Tim Bergen's first level analysis, I hypothesized that there would be a cognitive mechanism that affected their behavior. According to Eric Jarvis, one of the many neurologists that has studied avian brain anatomy reports that at one time bird behavior was thought to be solely instinctive. Neuroscientists are now finding that birds do not solely exhibit instinctive behaviors. Studies have shown birds to display complex and presumptive cognitive-like behaviors. These behaviors involve both basal ganglia-like and pallial, above the basal ganglia, brain structure. Using the second level of behavior analysis, development, I hypothesize that the behavior of choosing food is a learned behavior from a stellar J's parents. Social learning in birds as described by Slatsvold has a role in recognition of predator, foraging, and studies of song. In a cross-fostering experiment, Slagsvold found that the effect of social learning lasts for life. They also believe that keeping with the same diet is somewhat adaptive because what has been selected by the parents has already been successful. Therefore, early social learning can assist offspring in finding good food, avoiding the bad, and develop abilities to search and locate more effectively. In the third level of analysis, function, Tinbergen focuses on the current use or survival value of the behavior. I hypothesize that the stellar jays uses the nut because of the high calorie content of the food, thus increasing fitness for the jay. In an experiment done by Rockwell, Gabriel, and Black, where they examined the size and viability in cacheable food items regarding stellar jays, found that there was a noticeable preference for larger nuts and for those that had an intact structure. Jays are more likely to store the intact nuts and eat immediately the nuts that had a cracked shell. The experiment did prove the individuality of the jays, choice, or perhaps strategic gameplay. Rockwell, Gabriel, and Black conclude that these contrasting behavioral strategies may result in different fitness advantages depending on ecological conditions. Rockwell, 2013. The fourth level of analysis is evolution. I hypothesize that the stellar jays have come to make foraging decisions based on a long history of predator survival and increased fitness to reproduce. In the article by Rockwell, Gabriel, and Black, their study on individual specific foraging behaviors showed that behavioral variation has a heritable component. More evidence is building that natural selection favors contrasting responses under different ecological conditions. In their study, even when a predator was present, half the jays came and took peanuts. Of that half, about 50% adjusted to more simpler behavior and just took one peanut while others continued to sample. The response tells us that the jays will find a way, even if it means adapting to the environment, when a predator is present. In relation to the information we learned in class, stellar jays are generalist foragers. They will eat seeds, nuts, eggs, and nestlings. They use their sensory system of visual, olfactory, and environment clues to enable them to find food. I would put them in the category of seek and subdue method of finding food, meaning they go out and find their food even if it means stealing food from other birds or scavenging the leftovers from a human picnic.